Fat shaming is good? Let's find out what crawled up Google's ass. This is a woman clearly bragging about what's in her fridge. Pay close attention to what's in there. That is what you should never consume. Yeah, my mama, she told me don't worry about your size. Well, folks, mama's wrong again. Careful, Colonel Sanders. Bobby Boucher's gonna tackle your ass. My mama, it's never wrong. Look at this chick's hot ass. Both these chicks are kinda hot. Allegedly, if shame was a good motivator for weight loss, there wouldn't be any fat people ever. Yeah, actually, no. When is the last time you saw someone at a restaurant order a big fat steak and get shamed for it? I personally have never seen that in my entire life. Shame can work. Otherwise, by your own logic, anorexia wouldn't exist. Obviously, they feel shame for themselves. You ever notice they almost never have a fat chick as the main character? It's kind of awkward considering the majority of the population is considered medically overweight or more. I stand for joyful activity for all, free from shame. I think a joyful activity for pedophiles is raping kids. And you said for all. Side note, there's no doubt in my mind that you're actively killing yourself with your diet. So maybe eventually reality itself will just shame you into death. You know, what with one in five American deaths being associated with obesity. Leading cause for heart disease, you know, the leading cause of death in America is an unhealthy diet and also being overweight. So yeah, don't shame people for killing themselves in greater numbers than any other activity while of course passing the same shit onto their children so their children can kill themselves too because of course they were programmed and raised to be unhealthy. Congratulations, asshole. You murdered your own child. And if you've been paying the fuck attention, you would know that's not even slightly an exaggeration. Yeah, if I was a heavy chick, I probably wouldn't be able to do this. My gut would push me over the ledge. Here's Kelly Clarkson who let herself go. Mind you, she still looks decent and not yet fat. She says, you need to be happy with who you are and whoever that is, let your little light shine. Thank you for the copious amounts of bullshit, Kelly Clarkson. We really need to be happy with whoever we are. So rapists, murderers, burglars, and even corrupt dictators, whoever they are, they just need to let their little light shine. Fucking retarded. Fat shaming myself more feels good. Well, just like your diet, that doesn't make sense. But whatever, enjoy having difficulty washing yourself in the shower. Your diabetes, an inevitable premature death. You're the winner here. I wish there was a game where I could just like tell this chick to take off her clothes and it would like happen. Yo, baby, take off your clothes. <sighs> Most women afraid of getting too bulky from lifting weights are already too bulky from storing body fat. Yeah, it's cute you're so cocky, but if I wanted to be with someone who had big muscles, I'd bang a dude. Muscular girls versus overweight girls? Yeah, I'll take the non-fat but still overweight girls. Because I'm stronger than yesterday. Oh, by the way, can you pass the cake? The fuck are you talking about? She looks great. Seriously, she has a perfectly nice body. It's obviously okay for that woman to eat cake. The zombies also hate the sight of people sucking dick, so quick, blow me. Zero is not a size. I feel like that's insanely untrue. Whoop, there it is. Looks like I'm right again. Apparently zero is a size. You dumb motherfucker. I'm sorry the butt I work for isn't as good as the one you ate for. It's okay, I forgive you. <laughs> That's so true. Ladies, a big old non-muscular booty beats out that muscle booty every time. If you've been paying attention, I'm obviously not biased here. There are pros and cons to each side. Like, I'd take a heavier chick with a good personality or a skinny Nicole Arbor any day. Because dating isn't about body weight, it's about your fucking personality. And come on, does this plus-size model not look way better than the alternative? Seriously? Crawl. Crawl so I can see that ash. Fuck, you guys suck. Some of you may find this to be offensive, but for fuck's sake, it's a valid concern. Meanwhile, this chick is oddly kind of hot. So I'm talking about guys, personality is most everything. And this chick seems like she has a great one. Oh, scary. Go back to Walmart, you freak. I'm not fat, I'm big boned. And Arnold says, ah, oh, big bones don't jiggle when you move. Question, even if you were big boned, which you're not, how would that be significantly better? I mean, who the hell wants big old fat bones? P.S. Here's your x-ray. Your body fat is in fact fat and not bones. I know, the truth sucks. Wow, there's an entire week dedicated to fat shaming. A lot of skinny people have nothing better to do, huh? But you just keep flipping off the camera, lady. That'll show us. Okay, bitch. Hey, while you're down there, I stand for the right to love myself inside and out. Hey, yo, question. Who at any point was trying to ban your right to love yourself. You realize people are allowed to have opinions, right? And their opinions don't necessarily automatically equate to them trying to strip you of your fucking right to love yourself. Jesus Christ. I stand for everybody feeling good about themselves. Everybody, are you sure? Did you miss the whole rapist murderer discussion? For the sake of my sanity, stop fucking generalizing. I'm pretty sure her body's still warm, so we could totally like, you know, scissor her or something. I stand for fighting childhood shaming and bullying, not childhood obesity. Wait, didn't you just turn your back on all obese children? Because you just blatantly said you don't support childhood obesity. Which means you literally just shamed all obese children because of your clear implication that being obese as a child is something bad. Hi, I think child obesity is super bad, but don't point out how bad it is to people who are obese, despite the fact that the people you're pointing these faults out to are primarily the only person who can fix their problem. That's like saying don't shame the smoker, shame the cigarette. 
fucking cigarette doesn't have a brain. It can't change shit. Oh no, it's scary. Ew, he's eating me out. Ew, my pussy. This chick is pointing out that you don't have to be overweight just because you've had kids, which is a literal fact. And you got the chick on the right, not exactly sure what her point is. She hasn't had children, unless she pushed those pussies out of her pussy. The chick says, my excuse is that I'm okay with this. All right, if you're okay with it, then so be it. I mean, for the most part, you look generally healthy. Side note, I just want to point out, it's a proven scientific fact that if you give a woman an orgasm while she's conceiving her child, she's far more likely to have a boy. So, you know, look at the two pictures. Hmm. <laughs> the camera angles suck. I can't look at her panties. Or maybe. Hey, can you turn around so I can look at that ass of yours? There we go. Oh, baby. Long story short, I think this type of body's hot. 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 Also pretty hot. Love that I can actually see she has a tummy. And this type of body is not hot. It's kind of gross. So is fat shaming good? Hypothetically, if you were to shame this girl and as a result, you lost enough weight to finally be 150 pounds or something like that, well, you could say you saved your life. But let's be honest. A lot of the time, shaming someone, it'll probably just make them hate themselves more. And what do a lot of people who hate themselves, who don't have the willpower to deny food often do? They go out and they kill themselves a little more. Fat shaming can only be good when it accomplishes good things. Good luck with that.